out of office but still causing problems for Prime Ministers. Dominic Cummings was sacked as Boris Johnson's senior adviser more than three years ago, but he never really left the political stage. During the Tory leadership campaign last summer, Rishi Sunak distanced himself from the controversial ex-official. Firstly, on Dominic Cummings. Dominic Cummings had had, has had absolutely nothing to do with this campaign and will have absolutely nothing to do with any government that I'm privileged to lead. But just months later, after Rishi Sunak became Prime Minister, Dominic Cummings says he was offered a secret role in government. The former adviser says the pair spoke again in July when a similar deal was proposed, which he rejected. After the Sunday Times published details of the talks, a number 10 source said they were broad discussions about politics and campaigning and no job was offered. The government's supposed to be transparent. That's why there are transparency reports in which you're supposed to put all of these details. And Rishi Sunak had, did promise us that his government was going to be transparent. So it's not the discussions themselves, although it is questionable. It's the fact that it's been kept secret. The government says the talks were with a private individual to discuss political matters and so didn't need to be declared. But there's still political danger. After bringing back David Cameron, Labour has sought to brand these latest revelations as more evidence of a Prime Minister out of ideas and turning to people from the past for help. Downing Street would dispute that. What's clear, though, is this is another unwelcome aftershock emanating from what's been a tumultuous period in politics. But with an election closing in, one Tory insider says it's understandable that Rishi Sunak may be looking for ways to turn his fortunes around. I think what it reflects, really, is a prime minister who is reaching out, trying different things, trying to find something that works. The Tories are 15 odd points down in the polls. They haven't moved much over the last year. You can see why the Prime Minister might have had the conversation. Delivering his New Year message, Rishi Sunak focused on the positives of the last 12 months. And I wish you all a very happy 2024. As attention turns to the year ahead, reminders again of the present dangers posed by the politics of the past. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.